the small and the big, both were falling to the tempo of time in 1964. The steam locomotive graveyard at Enfield, near Sydney, rows of discarded machines awaiting their fate. The massive 57 and 58 classes. Few were chosen to survive. Unceremonially stripped and reduced to scrap, once renowned, now recycled. The 482 Mountain Class were the biggest locomotives built in New South Wales. 25 engines of the D57 class were built by the Clyde Engineering Company and the first entered service in 1929. They were the first Australian built engines to be powered by three cylinders and the most powerful in the country. A mechanical stoker fed the huge firebox. The 57's tractive effort was 67% greater than the goods engines they superseded. Ironically, the latter outlived them. They weren't alone on the scrap roads. There were 280s, Suburban 30 class, 36s and 24 class of 1891 vintage. Others were scattered uncaringly, their bellies cold. Finally, they would feel the heat of the scrapper's torch. Because of their size and weight, the 57s worked only to Juni on the south, Walerawang on the west, and Thirul on the Illawarra line. 36-35, positioning 57-20, has only two years to steam before it too is scrapped. Once, it was a very different story. The last of the big ones, 5711, steamed to Juni for the last time on the 22nd of September, 1961. Diesel and electric engines had replaced the big steam power. Coal was taken on at Mondral, the huge coal stage in the paddocks. All through express and mail engines took coal and water here too.
behind standard streamers on the 23rd, 5711 steams out of Junee for the last time. spiral the train is seen on the lowest level while the top and mid southbound tracks can be seen and then on the top level southbound Riverina Express racing down Morrison's Hill near Jindalee and passing 5711 tackling the grade. had entered service in 1930 and was set aside in historical society members travelled on the first spirit of progress to run through New South Wales on the 15th of April 1962. At tabletop 3808 passes with the second last Melbourne Express. Shortly after, a black painted 3801 on its first arranged special event rolled through with the Melbourne Limited Express. Diesels were normally rostered on the Limited. Note the automatic staff change on the exchanger. And the clerestory roof van on the rear. 3830 and 3813 had been especially chosen to work this very special train filmed leaving Wagga Wagga Viaduct. The train enters the Bathungra spiral on the lowest level and the centre or down track may be seen. completed in 1946, lowered the grade and the need for bank engines for up or Sydney bound trains. Photo runs were spectacular. The train backed up and stormed forward past the photographers. The run by over, the train reversed to pick them up. High speeds were maintained even upgrade and a top of around 80 miles per hour was estimated. Could this have been because the late Con Cardu was driving 3830? The 
train had to be slowed as crockery was being smashed and patrons could not keep up with their sliding plates in the buffet car. Local radio stations broadcast the progress of the spirit and crowds came down to Lineside to witness the event. Viaduct over Mulwari Ponds at North Goulburn now carries the combined overnight trains between Sydney and Melbourne. The 50 miles from Goulburn to Moss Vale were run in 53 minutes. The spirit of progress runs no more. From suburban trains approaching or leaving Sydney, one had an exciting view of Everly running sheds, just south of Redfern Station. There was always a mass of smoking steam power on view, either being prepared or ready and waiting for their assigned passenger trains or shunting duties. The depot opened in 1884 and two of the sheds had been demolished when this film was taken. Everly Depot provided steam engines for all passenger trains out of Sydney as well as for shunting duties in the Sydney Yard and the goods yards close to the city. It was truly a mecca for steam locomotive enthusiasts. The last shed was removed in 1963 to make way for ACDEP, the air-conditioned train servicing facility. The train engine was often needed to assist the shunter to haul its cars from McDonald Town sheds. Here at Redfern, 3801 has just started its run to Moss Vale with number 49. The same train, another day, leaving Sydney Yard with 3802 in charge. Under the wide overbridge at Newtown, 3813 was accelerating the Mossvale train on the main line. Really racing through the dip with its multitude of curves, a non-streamlined 38 speeds the Southern Highlands Express through Summer Hill. The last four cars will be detached at Picton. And the Picton train follows three minutes later. The 191 32 class 460s were introduced in 1892. with the Southern Highlands Express. At Summer Hill, the evening Picton train.
Number 32 to the harbour, the Milko. This goods originated at Juni. And one more time, 3804 on the Moss Vale train. A change of pace, 3620 on number 13 Goulburn day train, filmed from Flemington car siding signal box. All stations Campbelltown to Goulburn. However, light refreshments were obtainable between Sydney and Moss Vale. Crossing to the goods road at Flemington is the Fruit Express X the North. On a Thursday afternoon, the 57, having taken charge at North Strathfield, for the run south. Westward to Clyde to observe Sydney-bound commuter trains from Richmond, hauled by 32-class engines, still performing splendidly after around 60 years of service. One terminated and entered the yard. The end platform cars had recently been resheathed with compressed hardwood sheeting and freshly painted. Fifty fifty one, also fresh from overhaul, ambles across from the down yard, just in time to allow a Richmond business train to rush through. Regions Park Cabramatta connection shortened the original South Main Line from Granville via Fairfield. Gleaming from an oiling over, 3803 on the Southern Highlands Express nears Regents Park. Followed by the Picton train. Actually, on the connecting link near Sefton, 3808, one of the 1954 Royal Train Pilot engines, was filmed on the Moss Vale train. This train returned the following morning as number 50, and here hurries through Leightonfield. Note the clerestory roofed leading car on the returning Picton train at Leightonfield. And 3804 with the up or Sydney bound Southern Highlands Express approaching Cabramatta. Pre coaxial cable telephone wires are still in the air. The Southern Highlands Express with its better known car set, complete with the name boards near Casula. Here too, a legend was recorded. Train number four, the Up Melbourne Express. Nearby, the Goulburn Day Train. And note the six-wheel tender on the 32, a Campbelltown local with an unusual engine combination. Glen Lee Coal Train with the last word in steam power. 60-class Bayer Garrett and aged four-wheel hoppers. A typical Liverpool Campbelltown steam suburban shuttle. By contrast, a rushing Melbourne Express in the charge of a charging 3813, whose driver was determined to do his best to arrive on time in Sydney. Southbound 38, called Riverina Express, one of the daylight trains, which ran to almost all major country towns. Little Tank Lost, 
No, a 30 class returning to shed at Campbelltown from Loop Line working at Picton. Try doing it yourself, but... Be careful of a juggernaut like 3805 on the Southern Highlands. For an apparent return to the 30s or 40s, here is the Melbourne Express behind 3615. On Saturday afternoons, the Southern Highlands Express returned to Goulburn at 1.20pm as an unnamed train. These scenes were taken approaching Picton. The pacing shot is on the famous Malden Curve. Passing the Malden Cement Works is a 32 on the milk run from Picton. The cars had been detached the previous evening from the Southern Highlands Express. On another mecca for rail photographers, Malden Curve, is a wheat train hauled by a 44 class diesel electric in tandem with the Clyde built 42 class. The collection of four wheeled and bogey wagons is, in 1989, a dim memory. Still plodding along, number 13 Goulburn Day Train at the same location, 36 with NCR set and MHO van. At Picton, with a clear road for the highlands and many miles of 1 in 75 grade, the engine takes water and the coal is shoveled forward. Three days a week there would be a rail motor connection up the loop line. On two days a steam hauled mixed would wait in the back platform. Above the station and the town, the day train explodes from Picton Tunnel, having completed a sweeping half curve to gain altitude. Well into the climb to the high country is 3813 with the Aubrey bound Riverina Express. From the brick arched bridge over the old Hume Highway at the same location, number 13 again. Then steaming under the bridge at Mittagong Junction. The large station at Moss Vale was always a water stop. The long climb was beaten. People too had swarmed off the express or mails to the famous refreshment room. No need to leave this train for toast and tea. This is the 3813 leaving with the Riverina. Watch the lower quadrant signal return to stop. Another day found the Riverina further south and approaching Bundanoon. This is the Goulburn Day Train on the same curve, but with a very different consist. Surprise! 5711 and a nonchalant dog on the pedestrian crossing at Bundanoon. Riverina Express 3813 and Mulwari Ponds Viaduct, North Goulburn.
and then departing Binilong 80 miles to the west. Although the two riverinas were tabled to cross here, it was not a frequent event. As we see on the same day, note how polished the trains were kept. About 6.20 a.m., number 23 through mail with sleeping cars attached, slides down Morrison's Hill past Jindalee to pause at Kootamundra. Kuta Loco was small but active. Engines of goods trains paused to replenish or relay with a fresh engine. The branches to Tumut, Batlow and Tamora were also serviced by this depot. A 50 class, coupled to a 32, hurry by to their assigned duty. Later, that end of summer holiday Saturday, the Sydney-bound Riverina arrived at Cootamundra, assisted by a 36, on account of the addition of three FS cars to the head. Late running ensued regardless. A rare glimpse as we pass 4002, one of the first class of mainline diesels on a down goods. The fireman on the 36 catching some cooler air on a downhill section. Albury, close to the Victorian border, was still the break of Gage Station. All change was the cry for connecting trains, of which there were then four most days. In New South Wales, on the standard gauge, 3821 emerges from its own steam, starting the Riverina Express on its 400-mile journey to Sydney. The air-conditioned daylight trains were introduced from 1949, the first being the Riverina Express. An Albury Brown Express had left Sydney 29 minutes earlier on the same day. Leaving Junee with a car for probably a later mail in the dock platform. An impressive array of lower quadrant signals salute the passage of the express. into Bathungra village. Pick up and set down passengers when required, stated the timetable. A little further on is the famous Bathungra spiral. 